All right. So I think now we're ready to progress into the big burning tree. Let's do that. Let's see what's inside. This is like the entire point of this entire game is to get the Elden Ring. Well, well, I wonder, well, not really get the Elden Ring, more like, I guess, fix the Elden Ring is the idea. Also, summoning pool. And interesting, is this a fog wall? Yeah, interesting fog wall. Uh, a little bit different than all the other ones. You know, I remember the other Souls games, the fog wall was always gray. It looked like kind of the walls you see. Ah, like the walls you see for the stone sword keys, but a little bit different in this game. Now it's just blinding my eyes. Alrighty. Hey, they're doing their thing. You know, the, the cliche play the main theme of the, the, of the game. So, okay. It feels like the, the final boss. Really, it's just, it kind of just, kinda, just, kinda, just happens, eh? I mean, I guess that's Dark Souls in general. It's like the final boss. You just enter the room. It's here we go. Here's the final boss. No, like, big speech or anything. Though, I guess the big speech already happened with, um... What's his face? Uh, Hora Lu, Chieftain of the Badlands. You know, he already had like a big speech and everything with him. But here you go, he's Radagon of the Golden Order. Radagon. He's an important figure. He was mentioned like multiple times. Seems to be all broken. Oh, so I'm gonna die. Ow. Ow. Alright, cool. Thanks. He's a fucking faith user. Hmm, can I parry him? It looks like I can parry him. He, he, I mean, he's just a guy, right? Well, I can't parry that. There you go! Uh, only a stagger, I guess. Just like uh, a lot of bosses. Oh my god. Okay, the one where he like throws... Again, pocket sand. <laughs> but like, it's like golden pocket sand. Is pretty tough to dodge, I feel like. Like that one! Stop it! I hate that. What's this? I don't know. I'm gonna heal. Okay, too too early. All right. Well, this is probably not gonna be a very good run. Also, I'm gonna on fall off the ledge. Stop that. Ah, too early. I think it hit me. What if I get close? Ah. Well, if I get close, I get freaking destroyed. All right, cool. Great. Cool hammer. Was he in, in, in the introduction? Ah, try to parry. Yeah, I believe he was in the introduction. He, look, he looks kind of like a blacksmith in a way. I don't know. Because of his hammer, I guess. All right. Well, time to spend like 500 hours parrying. The final boss of the game. It's ironic because in, in Dark Souls 1, parrying the final boss of that game is actually the strategy. I feel like it's not the strategy for this one, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> because it's fun. 
Joe. So I can't I can't skip the blinding light every single time. Stop blinding me. Gosh. Anyway. Boom boom. Boom boom. Stomp. Okay. Seems like if you get close to him, he might not always do attacks that you can parry, however. Ah, got it. ah. Damn it. Well, too early. There you go. I like that, Radagon. Got a lot of healing as well. Because it's one of those, like, kind of like two hit reposes, which is nice. Too early. Now, this, yeah, okay, the pocket sand, though, you gotta roll as quick as you can, though. That's the thing. Go up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, and that kind of the, the way he slammed the hammer, kind of like was on the beat of the song. Funny. Ow. I think that was a grab. Like I guess it's also an explosion. Oh, probably can't parry that. Oh, can't parry that. And I'm dead from Pocket Sand. Cool. Hmm. This doesn't seem so tough. It really is the projectiles. Is uh, he has a lot of varying speeds on the way he uses his spells. You know, the pocket sense. It's always the pocket sense. Do you get that in, like, as a, as a, as a spell normally? It's like for a caster? That, because that'd be inter that'd be like a strong spell, I feel like. It's fucking just shotgun pocket sense. It's just pocket sense. But just all use pocket sense spells. That's all you need, really. Literally faster than the human eye can react. So you just gotta predict it. Um... Bum 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 bum. I, can you parry that? I mean, it's like glowing. Uh, I don't know if you can parry it. Uh, I tried to like dodge the last minute there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was kind of spamming the healing way. Like 500 years in the past. So was, I was already queuing the healing. Obviously I should have dodged there, but it was already too late. <laughs> well, I have plenty of time. I want to enjoy the fight, actually. I could, like, definitely... Not parry. Probably be easier, actually, but... I actually want to enjoy the fight. This is the last fight in the game, I imagine. What? One, two. Expecting explosion. Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, that wasn't the parry. Ow. Hmm. That comes out a lot quicker for some... I don't know, does it like... It's dependent on whether or not you press the dodge button? Felt like that happened a lot quicker than I expected. Ah, damn it. You can parry that! Oh! Uh, oh, I, I didn't repulse though, because I thought it was just a stagger. Damn it. Okay, now I know, you can parry that. Ah. an AoE. Now I know though. You can parry, even if the hammer is glowing, you can parry it. 
Oh, damn it. All right, well, whatever. I'm dead. Uh, the grab, I thought I could outspace it, but it ha sometimes it happens a lot quicker than I think for some reason. Strange. I, when, whenever I saw that move, I always assumed it took a million years to actually come out. In my head. But sometimes it's just a lot quicker? Is that how it works? Or, or is it diff a different move? Or am I just crazy? I don't know. Let's try again. Yeah, that grab. I mean, it's not just a grab, it's also just an explosion, too. It just kind of explodes. Ah, uh, freaking stomp. I can't stop. Don't stomp. Oh, come on. I felt good, but I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to do it a lot earlier than that. You gotta do it a lot earlier, I don't know. Ow. Excuse me. Oh, come on. I did it early there, but it didn't work. Even earlier, maybe? I don't know. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's just learning his his timings, I guess. When you get a partial, though, usually you get a partial if you hit it too late. I feel like if you hit it too early, usually it's you just get hit. <laughs> you know, you just miss the entire attack and then you just get hit in the face. So if you get a partial, meaning you know you don't actually get the parry, but like you do the animation. You take some stamina damage and some normal damage, I guess, as if you were blocking. That's just a partial. Usually it's because you're hitting it late. Look at that, it takes a million years! And somehow, sometimes he just does it immediately. You can't do that, it's cheating. You have very epic timings like that. Ah, oh, okay. The dashing, though... Okay. I don't know what happened there. I think I got stunned by one of the lingering explosions and got roll caught into the other one. Anyway. I was gonna say, I guess there's, var there's variance on the timing of the dash depending on how far he is. I mean, obviously, but it's kind of hard to tell, you know, just from the distance. How soon you're supposed to hit the button. Kind of just look at the animation, you know? That's kind of it. Every time. It's just blinding light. You really have to do that, Miyazaki? Too early. You can parry that, I think. Pa parry and heal. Out. Not worth it. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. That range. It's crazy. You sometimes follow that up. I'm just rolling. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't do a lot of damage though if it doesn't actually grab you. So at least there's that. Anyway, a bit of that. Uh, I guess I... well, I don't know. I should change the Spirit Tasman for a Dagger one, because I'm, I'm just going to parry all day. <laughs> really. I just want to parry this guy. No! Look at that. See, so it happens quickly sometimes. Sometimes it does this. So I don't know when to roll. If he delays it, like, it comes up super... Or not super quick, rather... Like, if he doesn't delay it, it comes out super quick, but if he does delay it, you know, I don't want to roll, right? That's a problem. 
Oh, come on, that didn't work. Of course, <laughs> stomp. I'm just going to change it to this real quick. Way too early. I feel like sometimes when he does the big dash though, because he's so far away, it might not be good to try to parry it because the, the hitboxes don't really align, you know, very well. He might actually like swing a bit of a distance as he approaches you, so you don't actually get to parry anyway. I don't know. Every time. I'm trying to like skip the cutscene, but it's opening my menu. All right. Look at that. It's like sometimes he does it super quick, sometimes he delays it, so you get row caught. You kidding me? Is there no way to dodge that properly? I have no idea. Excuse me. Don't just like turn around and hit me. It's cheating. Come on, I rolled. I pressed the roll button. There you go. This time with the dagger talisman, so it's a little bit more damage. I mean, it doesn't seem so tough HP wise, actually. Oh man. Oh my god! <laughs> Because it sometimes comes out super quick. Am I dead? I'm dead. Damn it. Sometimes it comes out super quick, so that's why I want to roll. But if I roll too soon, it just roll, cut, roll catches me. How are you supposed to dodge the freaking grab? Really? I don't get it. Let me just roll to the side and just, ta and just take the hit. Because it doesn't do a lot of damage otherwise. Um. Oh, the healing is nice, though. I don't know. I'm not sure. If I get better at the pairing, then I think... You know, the, the HP healing from the Reposes would be nice. You know what? I think I'll just change. Yeah, I'll, I'll change my weapon. Change it back to Epe. The trusty old Epe. Because so what I want to do is add some defense. Seems like he do, he's doing some... I'm imagining holy damage, so I'm going to put this on. To get some better holy defense, you know? Don't know how much it helps, but at least it's something, you know? Um, um, I actually I also don't want to use my buff yet until I, I'm really sure I can beat this guy. I feel like it's a waste, you know? Why am I attacking? It's a bad idea. Excuse me. Can't, can't parry that for some reason. Look at that, like, delay. Oh my god. There you go. Iframes. Yeah, I have your iframes. Come on. Hmm? Ah. Ah, oh, damn it. I tried to roll, but maybe no stamina. I shouldn't, I shouldn't try to parry again after I get hit once. The, the timing is off when you try to like parry during a combo. It doesn't really work out.
Uh, maybe I should buff. I don't feel like, yeah, if I buff, the way, he'll just, he'll just hit me. But yeah, I'm thinking I should buff. So, just so I st survive longer, so I can get an idea of his attacks some more. And you know, I was just surviving. Just to see. Okay, well, if he does it there, that's easy to dodge, really. Damn it. Run away! Okay. The lightning one, you gotta wait until he starts actually manifesting the lightning spear. Otherwise, if you dodge too early... That one though, that one you gotta dodge a lot faster than you think. It's, it's confusing. Some He has very similar looking moves is the problem here. With a variable of timings. Excuse me, let me heal up. Alright. There you go. Where is this place, by the way? I, mean, I guess it's just inside the tree. This is a big circle. Do a bit of that. Run away. What? Still got me. Now, this is why I don't want me to get close to him. You know, getting close to him is nice because he does more melee attacks that I can maybe parry. But the problem is that, uh... I thought I dodged. The problem is that he might do the grab, which is incredibly hard to... ...to predict, I feel like, and to dodge away, I'm not sure. Oh my god. Well, his attacks have so much range. <laughs> He's like, he dashes forth. A lot. It's cheating. Can't do that. Okay, you always gotta wait until the the lightning spear manifests before you actually try to dodge, I feel like. Otherwise you always get roll caught up. The stomp as well is is uh, scary. If he stomps at you. Oh my god, every time the grab. Yeah, if he stomps in your face, that's kinda hard to dodge too, because it comes out so quick. Excuse me? Excuse me. Alright. You done? Pocket sand? Good for you. Okay. If I fail the parry, I'm, I'm just gonna get away. I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting for the grab. That's gonna hit me. Oh my god. Really? It's always the fourth one. Excuse me. No, get away. I hate that. I hate that move. There you go. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. And one more. Okay, now heal. <laughs> I just gotta remember, there's always one more after the big slam. Always one more. I also never predict that, by the way. The freaking double pocket sand. Can't do it twice in a row. Can't just do it twice in a row, man. Oh, big stomp. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh my god, what? That, uh... Maybe he's supposed to jump, maybe? I'm not sure. It looks like a, like a ground earthquake AoE. Can I even prepare the stab, by the way? Yeah, good thing he didn't do the, the quick one. Yeah, again, the, there's variations for his grabs. The quick one sometimes, and then there's a, a fast one. Or rather, a slow one, rather. Oh. Not like a quick and a quick one. Ah! That one, yeah. It's a quick one, or like a slow one. He does the quick one. I almost freaking fell off. But I guess you can't. There's a visible wall. Unless I guess maybe if you t jump off intentionally. Oh, no more healing. Ah, hilarious. Well. Okay, now he's teleporting. Great. Cool. Did it too early. 
I, you, you, I think you can parry that, but obviously. I just did, I just did a Hail Mary, but it didn't work out. Alright. Get into a second phase, you know? Get, get into a second phase. Again, I really do feel like parrying is not worth it. I mean... If you can do it perfectly, I guess it's worth it, but, you know. It's, it's probably easier just to dodge his attacks and poke him. Dodge, poke a little bit. Probably a little bit better. Trying to parry him. But if I have the opportunity to, then I'm gonna, like, try to parry the boss. Because it's just so much cooler. I don't know, man. You, you barely get... I mean, in Dark Souls 1, you, I don't think you can parry any boss as far as I know. Except, well, spoilers, the final boss. I already mentioned that, but, you know. Uh, in Dark Souls 2, you can, like, parry some bosses, but you couldn't get the repulse, really. You know, you can, like, kind of, like, stagger them a little bit, and, but you can barely take advantage of it anyway. So it's actually not even any better than simply, um... Simply attacking, you know, dodging and attacking instead. In Dark Souls 3, I believe, they did introduce some bosses you can actually repulse. Which is cool. Is the idea, you know? I think ever since Bloodborne, I think they introduced a mechanic where you can just simply, you know, kill a lot of enemies by doing a critical hit, right? So I feel like in Elden Ring, they added more options for people who like to parry, which is nice. I like it. I mean, honest, the only, maybe not the only reason, but the main reason that I got interested in Dark Souls 1 combat is parrying, really. I just like the parry system. I don't know. Not, like, it's a little bit optional feature not a lot of people learn about. But like, I just think it's very cool. I say is by the way, I say as I never get I'm not getting any parries off, I'm just stuck trying to heal. <laughs> Help. I'm just trying to heal, buddy, come on. Stop doing like fancy moves. And just do like a very easy attack to parry. Like that one. There you go. That one I always get tricked by that one. Cause it looks similar to that one, right? It comes up faster. God damn it. There you go. Compare the last attack, I feel like. Yeah, that attack. I gotta look out for that one. That one comes up kind of slow. It's a very delayed attack, but because of that, if you predict it, it's, it's an easy parry. Compare that too was risky. Time. Can I like mash out of this? I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, that grab! The biggest thing is the grab. I mean, his second phase is why I haven't really touched all that much, so probably a lot of other crazy moves. But that grab is so. I don't know. What can you do? You know, sometimes you get out of it just by being lucky. But every other time, like, I don't know. I wonder, I wonder if there's conditions for it, but. He sometimes delays it. If he delays it, you get row caught. If he does it super quick, then you get hit by it anyway. So there's no option there. I don't know. Like maybe the idea is, is don't roll immediately. Like it seems like when he does the quick one though, does it always roll catch? I don't know. Like maybe you gotta delay a little bit and then you roll away. I don't know anyway. Ah, <sighs> well, at least I didn't get the grab the time. Hmm. We'll find the opportunity to buff as well. Oh my god, every time! I can't react to his grab. <laughs> I'm alive. Cool. I don't know how much HP I had. <laughs> Probably very little. Ah, oh, damn it! I was trying to parry, but I got hit by the explosion before I could actually do the move. Stop it. Oh my god, it really is countering my parry! I, I gotta, gotta get away a lot more. I guess I gotta roll again. I'm just, I was trying to space this so I don't have to roll, but I guess... 
if he dashes right after next to it, it's gonna hit me. So I got I gotta just keep put more distance, I guess. Gotta put more distance. <sighs> Alright. This guy is just so tough. This guy is just so tough. Once I get his first phase down, well I guess we'll see. Is there like another phase? Uh, this is the final boss of the game, right? So probably it's gonna be like another even another phase. After like his half health probably. I can't seem to parry his like fast attacks. It just comes out too quickly. <laughs> Can't react fast enough. He's like, slash! What? Slash! Slash! Snap! Slash! I swear, Dark Souls 1 parrying... Even though, I mean, you, you could not parry bosses in Dark Souls 1, however, but... It was definitely a foul a little easier because... I mean, not easy, but, you know... You would press the button as soon as it hits you, you know, that kind of parry. In this game, in like Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 2 as well, you have to kind of predict the parry. The active frames of the actual parry animation doesn't start until a little bit after you press the button. So you can't actually parry as soon as it hits you. You gotta hit a little bit before. You actually have to predict the attack. So you gotta really know the timing. Ah. <sighs> I delayed my roll even, and I still got hit. Oh, really? Thought I dodged that. Hmm. I, I gotta learn how to dodge the grab. What I'm trying to do is like keep my distance, and if I see it, I, I start running away. You know, start sprinting, but that doesn't seem to work sometimes. And I try to roll, but that doesn't work either. Maybe I should roll to the side. The, the tracking is too good though. Maybe like run into him and then roll past him. I'm not sure. Ugh, I panicked. And then I, 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 I just panic when I see it. I gotta do something different. <laughs> rolling immediately and rolling a little bit later, both don't seem to really work that well when it comes to the grab. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know. Take the buff. Uh, stomp. Heal up. Oh, that's the wrong flask. I remember to change my my selected flask. I always forget. Oh, okay. Good thing he missed. Hey, way too early. Ah! Uh, try to run and then try to roll at the last minute, but man, it's just hard to predict. Is the variable timing? I swear, it, ju it just changes timing every time he does it. It's just dependent on, you know, your inputs or something. I don't know. I like doing that though. That's nice. I don't know, I like the angle. It's, it's as if I like, as he charges, I just bash his hand away. It's kind of cool. Anyway, here's this again. But there you go. Okay, you're supposed to, you're supposed to jump. Teleport, of course. What? Whoop. Oh. Anime teleport. Cool. Thanks. Great. Run away! I don't like that he's teleporting. It's hard to tell what he's gonna do if he teleports, though. That's the problem. Okay, well, that was just me getting hit in the face. Oh, really? It missed? I swear that was perfect. Stop that! You can't do that! You can't just teleport in my face. Okay, well, bad idea. 
Really? Stop it. Ah, oh, it hit me anyway. Maybe I, I jumped too early or something. And teleport again? He usually attacks after he teleports, but maybe not that time. Oh, I gotta hit that a lot earlier. Ah, oh, damn it. A lot earlier than I think. Because he's so close when he does it. That's the problem. There you go. that oh super pocket sand can't do that crazy it's crazy stop it stop it ow there you go okay, give me some give me some of my health back radagon Now you got? There you go. Gotta hit that a lot earlier when he's close! I hate that move so much. Okay, that, that's just too far away. So I can't really parry that for some reason. If he's really far away, it's like the hammer doesn't really connect with the active hitboxes. Okay, bad idea. I, shouldn't I ju should not attack him ever when he does that. It looks like you can punish him, but... I shouldn't. It's kind of risky to be close to him too. Like he teleports as well. Hmm. I don't know if compare his other attacks at this point, unless he does something predictable. Seems like the dash is the only one I can really parry at this point. Ah, uh, does it twice. I probably could parry that. Hmm. I don't know. That's just a stagger. I was hoping for the parry, actually. I guess this maybe his stagger got reset. I tried to jump that, but like I just hit the hammer, hit my in the face instead. Ah, oh, really? There you go. <laughs> I have no health though. I guess some health back, but it's not gonna be enough. I'm just gonna die soon. I got time to iframes too when he wakes up. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to jump. I guess he's supposed to jump. I don't know. Kind of looks like you can like weave in between some of the patterns though, but that, that looks like a jump to me. But I'm not sure. Usually, uh, though, um, the reason why jumping works sometimes is because it's not really iframes necessarily. It's because the hitbox for your model changes when you jump, actually. Like for some reason, like the legs don't get like a hitbox anymore when you jump. Just for, for like a tiny bit. But that's why it works. I don't know if, it, if it's intended though, but... That's the way it works, you know? There's no, it's not the same as jump, or, or rolling rather. Because uh, rolling, you, get, you just get iframes for your entire character. For jumping though, it's only for your uh, legs. It's not iframes necessarily. It's just that they turn off your hip, hitbox for your legs. <laughs> you know, that's what jumping does. As it turns out. Oh, come on. That felt good. Mm, I want to keep my me like medium distance. I'm really scared of this grab. You know, sometimes he still gets me to grab anyway, but at least I have more time to react, maybe. I'm going to drink this. It still gets me! <laughs> he 
I can never get get away from his grab. Ah, damn it. I'm just trying to get away to heal. You know? That's all I want to do. Heal up. Ah, oh, got it. Alright. That's what I try to do. I run as way as fast as I can and roll at the last second. But sometimes it doesn't work out. Got you. Stab you in the butt. Alright. Time for a super move. Ooh, whoa! Ah, I still got hit. I, I gotta jump a lot later, I guess. Ah! Come on. That was good. Man, the grab is a lot more range than you think. Because it's not just a grab, it's also just an AoE. The AoE itself can also hit you, is the thing. I'm gonna do this, yep. Ow. Doesn't hurt that much though. Come on, no repose. Yeah, that's too far away, you can't really parry that. It's weird because there's a distance thing. It's similar to Dark Souls 1, really. Where you, you, actually, you have to actually be close to the target in order to get the parry. Ow. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Heal up. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Ah, damn it. I could have parried that, but... I compared that. I just I didn't expect it, I guess. Wow, he's comboing the pocket sand into his normal combos. That's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't I wasn't confident there. <laughs> I I wasn't sure what to do there. Ah, really? Oh my god. Excuse me? Ow. There you go. I'm trying to just predict his combos, you know, when he does like a really big wind up, it's a good time to parry. Oh boy, third phase. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you just gotta keep running. I don't know, like around him maybe. Doesn't it didn't hurt that hard though? Actually, wasn't so bad. I guess I only got hit by the tip of it. Also, what the heck? Freaking super combo here. Excuse me, got top off. <laughs> I'm gonna get one shot pretty soon. Oh my god. You're like a normal move or something that I can parry, you know? He's just doing crazy moves. That I though no, I think I could parry that, but ah whatever. Ah, oh, seriously. Heal up. Ugh. Oh. Teleport. It often teleports after that, it seems. Ah, oh, damn it. No! I got hit by the explosion so I can parry. I, guess I might have missed the parry anyway. Really? That's inconsistent, I feel like. 
Oh, uh, this probably will not be it because I've already used up so much of my... Excuse me? Damn it. Hmm. I think I know how to dodge that. I think you're supposed to get really close and then dodge, like, the actual hammer itself. Because the actual hammer itself is actually a small hitbox, right? So I imagine there's a lot of damage, but... I don't know. Let's try that again. It's fine. It's hard to find opportunities to parry him on the second phase when he like teleports around. Hmm. Some of his attacks can be parried while he's teleporting, but obviously it's hard to predict, right? Because he's just teleporting. You, know, you don't you don't see like a, a telegraph attack if it's just literally invisible for like half a second. Excuse me. No, no, thank you. I don't want that. Mm, stomp. I always don't predict that. Excuse me, just let me heal. Come on. Where's your honor? Hmm? Only thing I can do is really run away as fast as I can when I see that move. And it doesn't even work half the time. Ah, oh, that stab. Go get some health back, please. I like to save as much as my uh, you know, flasks as I can, you know. It's harder and harder to do damage later later in the fight. It goes. There you go. Yeah, do that move. It's nice. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to like sprint as well. I don't know if there's a delay when you sprint and also dodge, but... Ah, explosion of course. It didn't hit me with the actual hammer, it's just explosion. Oh, God, I almost died there. Oh, it didn't even hit me, come on. Come on, Radagon! Aim better. So I can parry you. Hmm. Ah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the fast attacks, I don't know. I don't know why I can't predict it. It just happens too quickly. Too early, I guess. Ah, oh, come on. Hmm, twice in a row? Really? I can parry that, but... Alright, at least it didn't grab me. Man, he was teleporting, so I wasn't sure which move he was gonna do. I tried to run towards him so I can get the parry, but... Bad idea, I guess. Wow, what are you gonna do? Hmm? What are you gonna do? Hmm. Try to jump it. <laughs> Obviously, get hit by the shockwave too. Good.
Ah, really? Hmm. Yeah, rolling does. Yeah, I don't know. Jumping's better than rolling. I feel like. Freaking. The teleporting also does damage, which is kind of, you know, unfair. You teleport and it does damage, really? Hmm. Way too soon. Uh, at least I get some health back, but it's not going to be worth much. Try to like react, dodge to that. You can't react and dodge that. I feel like. Unless you count the seconds, I guess. I don't know. He's just got to count the seconds. He's about to grab you. It's like. Seems like maybe his hand's glowing more than usual or something. Like it glows a lot faster than. If he does the delayed one, so maybe you gotta count the seconds, like one, two, three, go, <laughs> or something, I don't know. It's definitely hard. I feel like I'm... I mean, I got hit by a lot of things, but the, the grab is definitely the killer there. It just consumes a lot of my HP. Bum, bum. Try to parry that two times in a row. Not work out. Come on, let me heal. Ah, the explosion again. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I would have maybe died to the parry anyway. I don't know if the, if the explosion kind of cancels your parry, I wonder. I don't wonder, I wonder if it does that, actually. I don't know. But it definitely distracts you when you get hit. So you mistime it. Anyway. I always gotta remember to, like, get far away. Like, the explosion is a lot bigger than you think. There's, there, there's a mark on the ground. Like, a lot of his attacks, there's freaking, like, cracks in the ground. But it's actually bigger than the cracks in the ground. So you, you gotta, like, make sure you get away farther than you think. When well, he does the big lightning spear attack into the ground. Ah. I'm losing my focus, I feel like. Oh, really? I'm dodging too early, dodging too late. There you go. Yeah, I'm okay, just throwing throwing knives at him. Ah, too too early. Well, at least I didn't get grabbed. Stab, don't stab two in a, you know, it wasn't in a row, but two stabs in a combo is cheating. Yeah, do the slow attacks. Just keep doing really, really slow attacks that can parry. Come on. Like that. <laughs> no. Oh, okay.
Yeah, keep doing that. Hopes for me. Your time? Yep. This attack again. Ah, I don't know. I, there's a bit of a delay on the explosion, actually. On the other edges, it seems. Hmm. I don't know. Not awkward to dodge. Then we gotta like jump towards him, but if you jump towards him, you get hit by the actual hammer. Is the problem? You like? Yeah. See, that's what I tried to do there, but I feel like I got hit by the hammer. Hmm. Maybe I should wait until the hammer drops on the ground and then try to dodge. I'm not sure. Ah, okay, then out of time there. Really parry. There you go. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me? No, oh, come on. Let me heal. Just let me heal, Radagon. Rada, Rada, Radagon. You sound like uh, a Digimon, actually. A Radagon. 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 Hmm. I don't know. No! Okay, at least it was not the grab! At least it was not the grab. Oh, that was... Bad timing all around, really? There you go. Heal up, actually. Top off. It's almost third time yet, third phase. Well, at least I didn't get hit by the third part. All right. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Mm, I hate that. I hate that he teleports in front of you like that. I stab you. No, I missed. Maybe that's the play. Just like roll into him, maybe. Ow. Ugh, got you. Okay. That was risky. And did that again? Huh? Did that again. I don't know if there's a follow-up to that, you know. Anyway. <sighs> Alright. You gonna do that all day, Radagon? I'm gonna poke you. No, no, no! Ah! Every time! That's my one weakness, the freaking grab. Stop off. I hate to teleport. I don't know what he's going to teleport in front of me. Ah, uh, here we go again! I missed it. Oh, alright. Yeah, okay. You're supposed to kind of like... Just, just basically iframe it very close by. It's kind of like a shotgun, really. Ah, oh, damn it. I mistimed that. I think I was still sprinting. <laughs> Look at that phantom, by the way, on the right. <laughs> it's being juggled around, just like me. Relatable. There you 
go. That's the third stagger. Looks like it doesn't reset though. Interesting. All right, almost. Ah. Oh. Hey. Ah. Oh. Gotcha. T pose. Which makes sense, actually. It's, it's from the go from Gold Mask, you know? But, oh, here you go. See all of the uh, the trees in the background. Anyway, here's the Elden Beast. There's the Elden Ring and the Elden Lord. And now the Elden Beast. Oh no! I got two flashes as well. Do you have to like do this back to back? Probably. If I had to guess, you're supposed to do this back to back. Oh my god! Oh no! Uh. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the uh, the tree spirit, actually, sort of. Obviously, it has a sword instead, but. Okay. I think it's just time to do this. There, there's no parrying, probably. You can't really parry a giant creature like this. I have to guess. Can I? Ah, oh, whatever. I have one flask. I'm just gonna heal. Uh, what's this? What's this? I don't know. Whoa! Okay. Oh, you can strafe it, as it turns out. Oh my god. No! What? Space dust? This again. Ugh! I need healing, but I can't heal at the moment. Uh, take that. Alright. Let me put it in my inventory, but... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Incredibly janky just to heal up, because I don't have my flasks anymore. Ah, I mistimed that. The last one is always tricky, because it it's not the same pattern. Hmm. Seems like it's made out of crystal or something? Or maybe glass? Oh my god, it's so incredibly awkward to do this. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, help! The Elden Ring! Uh oh ah okay good oh, I'm just desperately trying to stay alive. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna die. Oh I'm just freaking the invisible wall. Help. Oh come on. That's a different move. It's just it's energy. Pure energy. What the heck is that? A grab? 
Come on, just stagger or something. I don't know. <laughs> no? Oh, not this again. This is horrible. I have no more healing, really. Barely, like... Not even halfway. Mm. It's hard to... Yeah, I mean, it's so big. That's why it's hard to, like... Dodge that, because you can't see. Just smash the button! Smash the button! Alright. Come on, stagger! <laughs> Come on, stagger or something! Ah, uh, alright. It doesn't seem very hard, actually, to be honest. It's just that I'm low on resources after freaking fighting Radagon. Alright. So we'll try again. I'm getting through Radagon every single time, though. Oh my! All right, let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. Stop it. Stop it. Stop doing moves. Just stand there and get parried. Come on. Don't you know your role in this world, Radagon? It is to be killed by me, the true Elden Lord. The true parry lord. <laughs> well, that was happened too quickly though for me to parry. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh. There you go. Man, I love parrying. <laughs> you know, it's fun, especially in Elden Ring, actually. A lot more chances to actually parry, which is nice. You can't parry every boss, but it seems like you can parry most of the bosses, which is nice, you know? Or, not, well, when I say most of the boss, not really most of the boss, but, you know, at least half, I guess. Which is, which is a big step up from. I love the other ones. I love the other Souls games. I don't think I can parry that. Ah, run away! Heal up! Okay. Melee attacks, yep. Good for you. Get parried! I really like, yeah, read those combos. And there's a know when to parry. I can parry that, but I'm already running away, so... I don't like run back in just to parry it. Seems like a bad idea. The, the big dash, though, is definitely the, the, the... I feel like, maybe not the easiest one, but the easiest to read. Like, to parry that. Probably the, the best one to parry, if you're gonna parry anything, is the one where he dashes towards you. Seems like he always tends to do it after doing a big lightning spear attack, it seems. Here you go! Ah. Alright. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. You like that stabbing? Probably not. Heal up, gotta top off. Oh boy. Third phase is... He just goes buck wild. There you go. Get away from me! What am I gonna do, hmm? Bum, bum. Bum bum. They're way too early. There 
There you go again. Whoa! Are you done? Are you done, Radagon? Come on! You're done. Almost, actually. I Yeah, not enough to kill, but... Charge attack! There you go. I'm gonna T-pose on you again. Regards from Gold Mask. Or, I think I said it wrong. It's like, Gold Mask sends his regards. I think you're supposed to say it like that anyway. Oh, Alright, Elden Beast time! I have more uh, HP now, or healing anyway. The whether or not I survive is another story. I might just get one shot accidentally anyway. Uh, freaking fire. So it hits me. Help. Oh, and drink this. Okay. Okay, I'm dead. No! <laughs> uh, oh well. Try again. I died a lot quicker that time. I didn't expect the Elden Beast to be that quick already. I thought it was gonna. And the fire is the, the biggest one. I thought the fire wouldn't reach me actually. But actually, it, it covers a lot of area, so I guess don't get close when there's fire. Either. I got this. I so got this. I don't got this. Help. In a way... I hate those moves, to be honest. <laughs> Freaking, like, zoning moves. Like, nope, you're not allowed to be melee range. Bye. Oh, really? Freaking... I'm getting stunned. Heal up. Ah, too late, I think. There you go, just right. Whoa! Heal up. Oh, did not even hit me. Come on, Radagon, get better aim. How am I supposed to parry you if you miss? Seems like the first time he does it, he doesn't really follow that up, it seems. That's what I've noticed. Anyway. When he first he does the first like flying slam, you know? When he goes through the second phase. He never actually follows it up, it seems. Uh, could be wrong though, I don't know. Every other time though, he does follow it up. So that's why I don't approach him, because he's gonna do something else. And also just in general, it's not like great to be near him when he does the big slam. Because uh there's a lingering explosion! Whoa! I never parry, like, when he does, like, a quick swipe. I can never parry it, it seems. I don't know. Okay, shotgun. Super shotgun. Attack. Two times in a row? I should, I should expect it. I don't know why I don't. Follow up, yep. Ugh, get away. I can par again, I can parry that, but it seems like if you stay in there, you you'll get hit by the... by the earthquake, uh... whatever, you know? Earthquake, super shockwave, AoEs. Holy attack. Ah. Let me heal up, okay. There you go. Oh, not a- not a- mm. I swear that was enough to parry, but maybe not. Or repose. And now you can repose, okay. I must have counted- oh, no, it seems like three- I don't know, usually it's three parries into a repose, but that could be wrong sometimes. I don't know, or maybe it's actually four? I'm just reading it. There you go, perfect! Stab, 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 stab! Kinda of slash, actually. The last one. Aha! Your super duper ultimate attack missed. 
Because you killed me like five times already, so I already know that attack by heart. Oh, maybe not by heart. I feel like I got lucky, actually, but anyway. Nope. No, no, please no. Screw you, I'm gonna throw a throwing knife at you. Bye! I'm not <laughs> attacking you after that because you always follow up with something. Oh, really? Come on, Rider Guy. <laughs> Stop missing. You have such bad aim. I was baiting his attacks. There you go. Come on, one more, one more. Just let. Ah. Gold Mask sends his regards. He did correctly that time. Anyway. Alright, here we go again. In fact, I'm gonna buff it right away. <laughs> I shouldn't save the buff, I should just use it. Okay. The hardest part about this is the camera. Really. So I'm, I'm gonna manually control the camera. And that's what I did last time, but... I gotta do it better, I guess. Explosion? Explosion. I don't- I don't know if you can stagger this thing, so... I'm just gonna attack, actually. Seems like you can't stagger, I don't know. Okay, this thing again. This move is not so bad, but... It's if... It's doing a move and also this at the same time. Like that, yeah. That's tricky. Damn it. <laughs> okay, good thing I have healing this time. Is it enough? I don't know. I have like, eight flasks. That should be enough, right? I say is like, ah, I get hit by the fire. Ow, really? Gotta heal up. Heal up, gotta make sure I don't get one shot. Attack, attack, attack. Moves away. Ooh, sunset. By the way, <laughs> the background there in the skybox. Oh, uh, here we go. I don't know what this move was, to be honest. I kind of got lucky and did not get hit by it, I feel like. I don't know. Got a jump, maybe? Not sure. Anyway, where is he? Fire. Uh. Run away from the fire! Okay. So it does, uh, yeah, the fire does seem to land where you are, or where you were at, anyway. So, you just gotta keep running when you see it. Like, I don't know what it's doing. It's freaking swimming. Help! Do damage! EPS race! Stick to its belly. Keep stabbing its weird veins. It's weird like tree root vein, I, I guess. Explosion? It's gonna do an explosion attack. Oh no. Help. Help. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Stop it. I don't know what that is. Okay. That reminds me of Astel, by the way. The little miss. Space dust miss or whatever. And Sekiro's... Dragon, okay. That that move definitely reminds me of the, the dragon boss in Sekiro. Definitely. Come on, don't run away, I just got to you. <laughs> I just got here. Come on. Come on. Stop it. And again. Be careful, got uh, it's, it blocks my view. No, damn it. I hate that move. Uh, the biggest problem with the, 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 like, it's hard, it's not really hard to dodge, you know, the, the projectiles that fall from the sky. It's just that you have to keep moving, and as soon as it stops, you gotta start dodging, and it's kind of like, I, I, I couldn't see, you know, the, because it's blocking the camera. Ah, let's try again. Ah, 
to stab. The stomp. They happen too quickly for me to react to. At least the pocket sand. The pocket sand is also pretty fast. But at least it's a bit of a telegraph. You know, his hand is glowing or whatever. Why am I attacking? Stop it. Bad habit. Let's get parried. Mm-hmm. Good for you. What else? Okay, he just missed me. I probably missed that parry too, as well, however. Oh. There you go. Uh, boom! Stab, stab. Alright, free parry. I was just gonna do that. Damn it! Ugh, no stamina. You missed that move and you're kinda screwed. Good thing I didn't die there. I'm gonna do that move. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, I don't know. That's probably better. He should just get away when he does that. I don't think there's any point in trying to, like, get fancy when he does the big slam. There you go. There you go. On to... And... Boom! Step, 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 slash. Hmm. Felt like I did that too early, but that's fine. Worked out. I just expect every teleport to be an attack. Okay, well. It'll hit me, even though I knew it was coming. There you go. That was too early. I get for you. Let me heal. Let me heal up. All right. Cool light show. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we can parry that. It's too far away. Ah, here we go again. Great. Good for you. All right, good for you. Come on, finish him off, please. Almost. Stab. All right. Ranella sends her regards. Remember, you divorced her and everything. <laughs> I think she was kind of sad about that. She got, she got, you know, she actually went insane because of you. So you can't deserve it. Anyway. Well, to be fair, I, I tried to kill Ronaldo too, but you know, you know whatever. Uh oh. No! Fire! Stop, drop, and roll! Okay. Now what? I, I don't know this move. What is this move? What is he doing? I. I. Uh, explosion. Okay, it's just an explosion. Good. Cool. Can I just attack you now, please? Ooh. I probably don't get hit by that. That looks like a grab. <laughs> you get grabbed, I get one shot. On the way! Ouch! Alright, heal up. Probably buff too.
Uh, explosion? Oh, looks like a yeah, like an ex a stealth style explosion, which uh, makes me think: is this Elden Beast kind of like a space kind of creature as well? Maybe it, it's very similar to Astel, so like the, the the space creatures we fought before, the space bugs. That makes me wonder if they're the same species. Came from like a meteorite or something. But this one has maybe been dwelling in the Earth tree for a long time. I'm guessing. Maybe that's what it is. There you go. The big Elden Ring attack. It's a big circle, get it? It's the Elden Ring. I actually didn't get damaged. <laughs> Alright. I guess if you just stay in that circle, you just freaking die. <laughs> so just don't stay in that circle. Seems pretty easy to dodge, really. Not that difficult. Come on. Get back here. Just run to you the whole time. I did like a full combo on you. Is gonna do something? Okay. Okay, interesting. So it does that. I wasn't sure what it was doing. It's kind of buffing his weapon or something, but... Oh, no, 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 no! Heal up! Heal up! Heal, heal, heal! <laughs> Almost dead again. <laughs> I didn't realize he was doing the other attack already. At the same time. Come on, stagger. Come on. <laughs> Seems like you can't stagger this thing. Looks like you can though, but, but you would think you could. Alright, here we go again. That's the, uh, ooh, uh oh. That's the big Elden Ring. Oh no 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 Oh okay It trick you you think the first time they would do it is easy but I guess that's the full symbol of the Elden Ring I have to guess Stab 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 Okay, got one more. I get close to it though. Big stab. God slain. I hear Risa, by the way. Yeah, first try, totally first try, totally not. I guess third try. How many times? I can't remember now. Anyway. Unless you count, I don't, I don't know if you count the the deaths to Radagon though. But anyway, oh, all right. Again, Elden Beast not too bad. It's just it's because you know you do. It's kind of like a marathon. You know, it's like you gotta get through Radagon first. By the time you get the back of the you know, by the time you beat Radagon, you know, it's like Elden Beast uh, feels feels difficult because you barely had time to get used to a new boss fight after Radagon, but. Eventually did it. Well, there you go. I think that's basically the 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 last of uh, the Elden Ring bosses. And now I think, as far as I understand, I mean, j just like all the other Souls games, you kind of kind of choose your ending now. What's this? Okay, I can summon Ronnie. So that's the Ronnie thing. Let me grab my zero runes, by the way. Oop. Ah, yes, zero runes. And actually, let me look at the uh, remembrance that I just got. Get some lore. That's the most important thing. I get lore. Elden Beast. Hmm. It was the vassal beast of the greater world and living incarnation of the concept of order. Okay. So it was like, yeah, the, the avatar of the greater will, basically. And it was literally God. We literally slain God. There's the fractured Marika. 
Mm. And Mariko was Radagon, right? So I did notice that Radagon was kind of like broken into pieces. So maybe the other half was Mariko or something. I'm not sure. But I guess this is Mariko, but you know, she's all broken up. I, I'm, I'm probably because I killed Radagon or something. Something like that. <laughs> it's Dabin. Uh, well, you don't see his other arm, I guess, but... <laughs> Let's see, um, how does this work to be honest? I'm not entirely sure. Well done. Can I like, uh, leave? I actually kind of want to leave first, because I actually want to go back to the round table hole just real quick. Real quick, go back to the round table hole, hopefully I didn't break anything. Real quick, because I actually want to see what the boss soul actually gives you. Do, 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 because it gives you more lore, you know? Let's see. So there's Marika's hammer. Hmm. Stone hammer made in the lands of the Neumann. Outside the lands between. The tool with which Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radagon attempted to repair it. Hmm. The hammer partially broke upon shattering the ring, becomes splintered with... Uh, rune fragments. Okay, so that's what happened, I guess? Did they ever say that, but... Or, I don't know, I don't know if they ever said that, but... I guess that's what happened. Marika is the one that shadowed the ring. I can't remember, did they mention that in the introduction? I don't I don't really remember. Hmm. It's interesting that even though Marika is Radagon, Radagon tried to repair it, I don't know. I guess maybe... I don't know, dual personality? I don't know how that works. Hmm, Sacred Relic Sword. Sword rough on the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal, <laughs> but then I killed it. Thoughts on what the weapon portends are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of a great sin, or a sign of great devastation. Some think of it as the end of an age, while others, the beginning. Wow, <laughs> so mysterious. But I guess this is the sword that the Elden Beast was using. I have to guess. Yeah, there you go. Any equipment? You get Radagon equipment? No? I guess, well, I guess he wasn't really wearing clothes all that much. Really, I guess, I think he was wearing, like, at least pants, but... Anyway. There you go. I guess that's it. Alright, so I'll look at that real quick. I guess I'll go back to the Earth Tree, and we'll see what we do from there. Alright. So, for this playthrough, um, there are multiple endings you can get. I believe there are six endings you can get in this game, and I guess for YouTube, I'll, I'll show it off, but uh, the first set of endings are kind of the same, really. You can mend the Elden Ring, uh, you can use the mending rune from, I believe, Gold Mask, and you can also use the mending rune from uh, Fia. And there's also another one from Dung Eater, but I'll, I'll show that on a different character. But uh, the most, like, neutral ending, by the way, the super, like, true neutral ending is to simply mend the Elden Ring without doing anything special. So this is like literally the normal ending. Let's, let's see what it is. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between.
Our sea will look back upon us and recall. An age of fracture. Okay, I guess that's it. It's a very short cutscene. I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's like very short. Uh, you just sit on a throne and then you're like, and this is the Elden Lord. Congratulations. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to like skip the, uh, the credits for now because I'm going to do the, all the other endings too. All right. So let's use the Mending Rune of Perfect Order instead. And I do believe it's just a slight difference. I, I don't know how I'm going to edit this on YouTube, but... It's, it's a very slight difference. These like first multiple endings, they're basically the same one, but slightly different. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show it anyway. Just so I can like have like, I don't know, on the video, on the YouTube video, it says all endings, even though I, I, don't, I don't know how many people care, <laughs> but I wanna make sure that when I put all endings in the title of the YouTube video, that it's actually true and not a clickbait, <laughs> so. Anyway. Pick up the head again. I assume, yeah, that's Radagon technically, but it's also Madoka. So we, we defeated Radagon, maybe, and his soul was gone or whatever. And we just pick up the head again, put it back on, and that's Madoka, I guess? I don't know. I remember, actually, when we first saw the body, yeah, I guess it would look like that. But then it turned red, I guess? That's Radagon? I don't know, some kind of like anime thing, right? Where like there's like a split personality in the same body or something. And somehow that manifests into like, you know, a real magical difference, I guess. Oh, okay. I, I think that's actually, that's a little bit different, actually. But that was slightly different. There's like a little rune around it. Hmm. But yeah, I'm just talking over it. Usually I don't like to talk over cutscenes, but it's the same one, so. But uh, the narration here might be different. The Fallen Leaves tell a story. Same narrator from the beginning, actually. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. Mm hmm Okay. So yeah, slight difference. The biggest difference here, I guess, is because... Or rather, the difference is... Everything is glowing a bit more. It's more golden. As a result of Gold Mask... Remaking the Rune of Order. The Age of Order. The Age of Order. So that's the difference, by the way. So the neutral ending is Age of Fracture. The, the Gold Mask ending is the Age of Order. Wow. And again, it's the same cutscene, but very slight difference. So we did the became the Elden Lord, it became the Age of Fracture, and then we got the Age of Order. Well, what about this one? You know, this one was all about Fia, actually. So that was kind of well, a weird one. Um, there's a lot of implications, I guess. I feel like of these endings, but they don't really explore it. But I guess, yeah, the Golden Order, I assume, or rather, the the, the Age of Order, I assume, kind of like supplants the religion, you know, of the main religion that existed before the Shattering, and replaces with a new religion. I assume that's like. Better, I guess, maybe. Um, and I guess this one though, Death Rune, is all related to Godwin. You know how Fia was kind of bring back Godwin and like trying to like save, I don't know, save, but like I guess bring like an age of those who live in death. So which I don't, doesn't sound like a great, you know, a great plan really. It's just everyone turns into like undead zombies. I feel like, but apparently in, in her eyes, it's a, it's a good thing. I don't know. Anyway, all endings except one. It's gonna be all endings. It's just not live. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put the other ending later. Uh. All right, let's pick up the head again. Put it on. Put on the head again. Put it on the mannequin. I guess Monica and Radagon, are, they're just made out of stone. How's that work? Were they always made out of stone? You know, were they just born that way? Or were they made that way, you know? I 
I mean the symbol and oh you see there yeah there's a slight difference there you see that that's the the rune of uh death or whatever the slight differences when you actually put the head back on i guess that makes the elden ring so i guess marika herself was the elden ring is that the idea and by like putting the body back together you're absorbing the power maybe and becoming a new vessel of uh of the elden ring the fallen leaf how's that work though because we technically killed the Elden Beast, so of I don't know. Tarnished. Like, do we become Lord, or rather, God? Anyway, in our home, across the fog, the lands between a fog. Did he say that before? I don't remember. But this definitely looks different. Look at this. What? What is this death rain? Our seed will look back upon us and recall. The age of the Duskborn. The Duskborn. Again, a lot of implications there. I, I feel like I'm not really exploring it. But yeah, there's a there's a few like copy paste endings, which is actually thematic with a lot of Elden Ring. I love Elden Ring's copy paste. Uh, a lot of reuse assets. But anyway, all right. So it's me from the future. And on this character, I literally beat the game again. <laughs> uh, just to see what happens if you use Dung Eater's rune on the statue. Let's see what happens. Well, I imagine it's the same thing as all the other ones. You just kind of put the head on the statue. You know, something I didn't realize, actually, when I originally recorded this. Uh, was that, um, it seems like the Elden Ring, right, was inside Marika this whole time, and it makes sense, right, because she's the vessel for the Elden Ring, so it's, like, taken very literally, <laughs> as it turns out. That's something I didn't notice, or I didn't realize, anyway. So when we, like, put her body back, it's like we are literally repairing the Elden Ring, you know? That's the whole point. I thought it was, you know, metaphorical, but anyway... There you go. But we add a little spice. Yep. <laughs> we add a little bit of Dung Eater's essence into, into the Elden Ring. And I imagine everything else is the same, except, um, I guess, the color of the sky, I imagine. The, the, like, the first, like, how many endings? Like, three or four endings? Are pretty much the same. Tell a story. Except they changed the skybox, I guess. A tarnished became Elden Lord. Elden Lord. There's a different implications though, I guess, you know? Home. Obviously for the Dung Eater ending, the um, I imagine everyone is just cursed, right? Everyone becomes an omen. Everyone gets horns, I guess. Yeah, and of course the narrator is like slightly different there. The blessing of despair. Despair. <laughs> yeah, like he has slightly different lines depending on those endings. But yeah, most of the like beginning endings are pretty similar. So that's most of the kind of like generic endings. They're really just copy and paste. <laughs> you know? I actually wish they didn't do that. That's I'm gonna be honest. That's a little lazy. It really reminds me of like the. Uh, Bethesda endings, you know, where it's like a slideshow, there's a slight differences to it. Eh. But now I can show some more special endings. Let's see. So let's check out the, yeah, let's go back over here. Oh, there's two more endings. I want to show this one first because I want to save the best for last. I mean, I assume it's the best. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I want to go over, um, over here. Yeah. So we go over here. I went here a while back. I didn't really proceed because I kind of knew what it was, you know. Uh, you know, here's Heta. She loves eating grapes. A 
she tells us to get naked, basically. So we're gonna get naked. And that's how you go inside this door. Let's do that. Well, actually, what happens if... Can I interact with it? Okay. I have to get naked. Boop, boop, boop. Can I have my swords? Okay, no. I can have my swords. Anyway. Open the door. All right, cool. We got a little hug. Kind of burn our skin a little bit, but we got cool, uh, cool anime eyes. You know, and super crazy like villain eyes. I mean, you got to be crazy to get hugged by that thing, I guess. Praise the chaos. May chaos take the world. I mean, uh, Shibiri, you know, is the one that kind of hinted us to go down here in the first place. All right, I guess we'll put on our armor back on. I don't know. It reminds me, actually, so that whole thing kind of reminds me of the fingerprint armor, you know? Vike was a kind of like an NPC we don't really, like, talk to, but he invaded us, and we also fight him in the Everjail. It's interesting. There's, like, a lot of background information on this character, it seems. But yeah, Vike also did something similar and tried to, like, you know, meet the three fingers and, you know, do the whole chaos thing, I guess, because he's Maiden. Uh, I, well, he, I, I assume he got tricked somehow or whatever you know his maiden was about to sacrifice herself so he decided to embrace the chaos to save her but you know turns out it didn't really work out uh, it didn't really work out but yeah he was wearing armor when he did that and maybe it has something to do with the fact that because he was wearing armor he didn't really fully embrace the whole flame of frenzy thing and later turned out like he didn't you know do the whole chaos thing either you know he kind of just gave up halfway but anyway uh Where's my armor? Actually, I have to remember what my armor was again. Uh, my fashion. Let's see. This one, and I got, I think I put on Blythe's leggings. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta dress up my character back up again. It's very important. Anyway. The cosplay context. Any of you? Could you please rest your hand upon me? Burn me with the flame to make me your maiden. Touch Hieta. Oh, it burns. My eyes, my eyes, they're melting. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I have touched them. The words of the three fingers. As your maiden, allow me to divine them. 
All that there is came from the one great. Then came fractures, and births, and souls. But the greater will made a mistake. Torment, despair, affliction, every sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the yellow chaos flame, until all is one again. All right, cool. Hey, by the way, we're not made in this anymore. Those who gave me grapes howled without words, saying they wished they were never born. Become their lord, take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, and melt it all away. As the lord of chaos, no more fractures, no more birth. What's going on? Are you alright? Mom, but my maiden! I was just maiden, you know, I just got a maiden, now I'm back to being maidenless again. Uh, got Frenzy Flame Seal though. Frenzy Flame Stone. Hmm. Five second maiden, right there. So I guess, yeah, well, let's see, let me look at the actual stuff. Um, uh, is that a catalyst or something? They said like it was a seal, right? Yeah. Formless sacred seal bestowed by the Maiden of the Three Fingers. Enhances incantations of the Frenzy Flame. Uh, this seal is the bark of the Lord of Frenzy Flame. Scales incantations using strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith all together. That's a lot of stats. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or not because you know just end up like with stats everywhere that are not very optimized. Unless you're like. Max level, I guess, for some reason. Um, hmm. Also got some items, I guess. Frenzy Flame Stone. Ruin Fragment, Bless the Incantation, the Three Fingers. Uh, use have FP, Restoring HP. Uh, confers madness upon those who have not adopted the flame. Take care not to mistake this for his gentler cousin. Yeah, because this one heals your health. This one, I guess, also heals health. But it's only for people who are mad, I guess, is the idea. Are you alright? You're still burning? I assume you're a corpse now. She's not really moving. Oh, I can't actually, I can't, can't actually see her eyes, sort of, under the blindfold. But obviously her eyes are closed. No, so much for her being my maiden. And last very long, you know? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> she's just burning. Hmm. <laughs> One place I want to check actually is, let's see, because there was Shibiri, right? Shibiri is like, I assume, the head honcho of the whole, like, chaos thing, right? He's, he's like a, a, the head priest, you know, of chaos taking over the world. Uh, where is he actually? Oh, it's just items. Ah, okay, it's just... This drops the armor of the, uh, of the Yura. I guess Shibiri himself is just gone. That's too bad. Hmm. Look at that real quick. Because, uh, apparently he was, he even just said it, like, he, he's possessing the body of Yura. And that's how he did. Uh, too much items. Oh, here you go. Uh, armor of the man who caused him of Shibiri. Oh, really? Highly functional and heavily worn. The man once known as Yura uh, kept the woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. Yeah, that's the whole like Eleonora thing, I guess. Quite obsessed with Eleonora. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a funny little hat. <laughs> it, is, it looks way too big. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, there you go. Uh, I guess that's it. So let's go back over, over here, the fractured Maraca. So now that we have the frenzy flame inside of us, let's see how that affects things. You know, I wonder. Is it, oh, okay, 
I, I was just hoping Hieta would actually be her maiden though. It's like it's like she replaces like uh a Melina, whatever. I mean Melina's already gone, but I was hoping she would actually replace Melina and then we could actually talk to her some more, but no, she's just burned to death, it seems. I don't know, anyway. Oh, here you go. Only one choice, by the way. Only one choice of our burning eyes. It seems like, I mean, the way she explained it, by the way, so all, like, all, like, birth and all souls were fractured and all that, but also despair and curse and sins and all that, so I think what she means is that basically, uh, you know, there's good and there's bad, but screw it, let's just burn everything away. You know, is the idea. It's like ultimate nihilism. So let's do that. Become the Lord of Frenzy Flame. Okay, <laughs> achievement unlocked, Lord of Frenzy Flame. So I guess we just literally just burn everything alive. Amazing. This doesn't seem like a very happy ending, but hey, that's that's an ending. It's a secret ending, I guess. You gotta, gotta jump through a few hoops to get it, it seems. But you know, that's the yeah, that's just the literally just let chaos take over the world. Alrighty, so. We got a lot of endings. We also became, you know, the Lord of Frenzy Flame. But don't worry about that. We're just gonna time travel back. And let's see the final ending. And this ending you can get by doing uh, Ronnie's whole little, like, um, I guess, uh, request or whatever, you know? Just be a little, little like, uh, uh, delivery person for Ronnie. And deliver her, like, a dagger. And, like, deliver her doll to, like, a certain place. And then um, deliver her ring, you know, it, be it becomes like Genshin Impact where you just, you know, <laughs> you just kind of like become an Uber driver. But anyway, let's see what happens when we summon Ronnie. The battle is over, I see.
I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. All right, there you go. I kind of confusing though the age of stars something about stretching into like darkness or whatever but i don't know i guess i assume you know we just go to space with our waifu rani and then we travel the stars for all of eternity i guess just holding hands i don't know <laughs> i assume that's what it is the ultimate simp ending but there you go that's elden ring i think i got all the endings you know um again my, my future self will put on the other ending that I didn't do at the moment that I'm recording this technically, but I will put this. It's confusing. Anyway, that's all the endings. Um, and yeah, Elden Ring. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just give my final thoughts. Uh, we became the maiden. You know, it depends. I don't know. It depends on who wears the pants in the relationship. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> So that's Elden Ring, yeah. Um, what what do I have to say about it? Well, I mean, it's good. You know, it's like game of the year. It's definitely gonna be like, oh, you know, the top game for like a lot of people. Um, definitely, as someone who plays a lot of Souls games, you know, just having another Souls games to play or whatever is just nice, right? So I actually didn't really expect much when I first heard it being being announced like a while ago. You know, everyone was very hyped and everything, and I was like, well, it's in collaboration with this, like, George R.R. R. Martin guy, you know? I wonder how much he'll, like, ruin the game, right? He's like, did he write something about, like, some kind of book or whatever? I don't know. It became, like, a TV show that was, like, apparently people liked a whole bunch, but then it sucked. So, like, I'm like, mm, I don't know. This, the old, this George guy, you know, this, he, like, ruined everything. And it's like, nah, actually... I think his name was just put there as, as like a name drop really to like get people uh you know interested but i don't think he really did much to be honest at the I, it seems like anyway it seems like all the themes of the game is pretty much the same uh, special thanks george r martin um but yeah most of the game is like very classic like souls game uh souls lore souls like world building really the, the game design is little it's like you know, kind of improves on top of like Dark Souls 3 and everything. So yeah, overall, I really liked it. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think of more positives. It's like, because I do have some criticisms, but I don't know. I want to focus on the positives first, but um, I mean, I like the, yeah, the customization, you know, I mean, just the classic like Souls stuff, right? The only thing, because Sekiro was very good too, but the only thing that was, that's kind of lacking is not being able to make your own character, right? And that's what I kind of miss from like a, the Souls games. So I like that how Elden Ring, you know, basically took that and just continued doing, doing that. Basically, um, characters are interesting. Um, I don't know. It looks like overall, like it's just kind of like just built upon the uh, Souls games formula without being, you know, too redundant in just copying whatever they did before. Um, I, I especially like the fast travel system. You know, they're more generous with all the fast travel and checkpoints, right? And stuff like that. So I like that. Some of the bosses look very good too. Um, but yeah. Now things I feel neutral about. 
it is definitely the open world. The open world is definitely uh was like the big surprise of Elden Ring, right? It was something they didn't do the other Souls games. So they added a whole open world element. Uh which at first was very cool, right? It allows you to explore anywhere you want and kind of kind of like without holding your hand, you know, it was kind of like Breath of the Wild where like uh, you can just go anywhere you want and like kind of experience the world naturally, right? Without like following like a, uh, you know, typical like sandboxy video game in like you know from other companies and be like oh just go here you know and collect uh, zero out of ten like you know bear asses or something this game definitely was more like um i guess uh it was more confident in just giving you a world to explore like a real sandbox right just an actual sandbox instead of trying to like uh, guide you towards a particular path you know for example you could just end up in a location where there's like so many enemies are way stronger than you and just murder you in fact there was like a chest that teleports you ex to exactly that and you know you get that experience right where you're like you end up in the place you're not supposed to be but that's kind of cool because it makes the world feel alive right it's not just like a world that kind of like um revolves around your own character you know and just kind of like scales its level you know it's like kind of like skyrim where like no matter where you go you just end up fighting monsters at the same level at you as you for the most part you never get that feeling of just exploring into like a dangerous territory that you're not supposed to be and you know trying to survive right that's that's what i kind of like about it right it's kind of it's kind of old school really and dark souls in general is kind of like wants to be more old school in its game design you know that's why there's some people complain about it but there are like a, a lot of like mechanics in the game that uh kind of are it feels inconvenient but i don't know it adds to the experience right but obviously there's a balance to it you know or like you don't want it to be too obscure to the point where it makes the player frustrated but that's kind of the point right they kind of i feel like from software with their games kind of built this reputation where it's supposed to be hard even though you know it's, it's not like the hardest game in the world i feel like um but they, they build that kind of reputation to really like prepare the players for that kind of gameplay, you know? But anyway, open world is cool. However, what I don't like about it is the fact it's like sometimes uh, copy and paste, basically. That's the, that's the main problem with Elden Ring. It feels like it stretches a little bit too long and there's a little bit too much filler, you know? At first, I didn't mind it because I, I knew of how big the game was. But like the more you go on the worse it gets you know they keep copy and pasting like same enemies same bosses same mini dungeons i really feel like they they could have cut that down a little bit you know they didn't need to add so much of these like little mini dungeons mini caves mini catacombs that are basically the same some of them are pretty cool they have some cool gimmicks but a lot of them are just kind of the same right you just go through the catacomb hit the lever open the door Fight a boss that is just a regular enemy in like another place and then you do it like 10 times you the same enemy like 100 times <laughs> like the tree bosses too you know the, the the ones that have like a big butt slam the the big uh, snakes you know tree spirits um sometimes just normal npcs that you fight it's like it's just, it's just a normal npc who cares but yeah they, they do that way too much i feel like so i really wish they cut down on that a little bit or at least made like the mini dungeons a bit more cohesive maybe like instead of just having like 50 catacombs you know just have like 10 you know just have like 10 but then make them a little bit longer you know just kind of combine them into one area instead of just having like smaller ones just everywhere you know like breadcrumbs it's like it feels i don't know it feels exhausting to go through oh here we go again another catacombs like the same one i don't know i guess a few of them are pretty cool though they have little gimmicks of them and I, I wish they did that more if they're gonna put like little mini caves at least make them unique so you can like you know have a good experience with them anyway so that's that's the biggest criticism and i guess uh already at the end of the credits i'm not finished rambling yet uh another criticism is definitely some of the bosses and well it's not really a criticism but it's more like a more like a taste thing i guess especially because of the way i play the game right i play it without summoning because i prefer it that way uh you know i've read it a whole bunch already but i i prefer like soloing the bosses because it feels more fun to do that you know and here you go here's a choice to go to new game plus by the way you go like you can like new game plus like a whole bunch if you wanted to but anyway, i'll just go back to the round table hold and you know, just hang out here um yeah reduce the size of the world and have more unique content i feel like and you know i i guess i can like forgive uh, uh the developers for it though because it's technically their first open world i think for like the main souls games 
and it's not like a bad you know entry really you know they did they did a lot of things well you know especially the whole exploration thing it feels very fun to like just explore new places uh but anyway what was i saying oh yeah the bosses i, I like souling bosses because i prefer like learning like enemy patterns right the, the biggest problem i have with like summoning in general like co-op or using the you know the intended mechanic the ashes is that uh it turns the bosses around you know you don't really learn the pa patterns very well because when, when you t when their bosses are like not facing towards you they're like doing like crazy attacks and everything you and you never learn them and so when they turn towards you and actually do the attacks it's like harder to learn because you you don't, you, you don't get to uh, you don't get exposed to, to the actual patterns and know how to dodge them, you know? And that's how I usually play these games, you know? I usually play like Punch-Out, where I learn the boss patterns, and once I learn them, then I get better at it, and that's the feeling I, I like, right? I, I like the, the action aspect of it, you know? There's the RPG aspect of it, of it as well, which is important because you got to upgrade your weapons, level up your stats, that's important too, but I also like the feeling of getting better as like, I don't know, as a player, right? It's like you, you get to learn things like organically just simply from like uh, fighting the boss instead of just like uh, boosting your stats and then you get stronger, you know, like an RPG, right? A typical RPG, in order to get stronger, you just grind, you know? There's like, there's no like, uh, um, I don't want to I don't say skill. It's kind of like skill, but you know, there's no like... Uh, timing or memorization you just kind of level your stats and suddenly you're stronger your character gets stronger that's cool and all but i want to get stronger you know it's like my i want my fingers to get stronger right i want my muscle memory to get strong it's more fun that way uh to me anyway right it, it really does feel like you're getting better at it and then therefore when you earn the victory it's it's much more satisfying because you you know you learn something from the boss and it's it's also i don't know in a way it's like you're respecting the boss too right you're not just like i don't know shooting a giant beam at the at the boss and just skipping the fight you're actually experiencing the fight and seeing what they have to offer right seeing all their cool special attacks you know and like see how they do all their cool moves right and actually you know draw out the fight and actually see what they do because, uh, you know, a lot of the developers and uh, the animators and designers, you know, they put all the effort to making the boss. It feels disrespectful to just skip it <laughs> by, like, one-shotting it or whatever. I don't know. Or, like, you know, not actually watching the boss and letting your summon tank everything and then you're just hitting from the back. I don't know. It's just, to me, that's not fun. Anyway, that's all just to say, though. The bosses are cool for the most part. Uh, but some of them... And again, this is just like kind of like a very much, I mean, it's, it's, it's all opinion really, but I don't like how some of the bosses attack you so fast that you can't dodge it, you know? You can kind of like learn it by simply like uh, understanding what they do and keeping, you know, there's like spacing, you know, is very important. Like market, for example, like certain combos, you literally can't dodge the combo. So you have to like make sure you're not in range of certain attacks in order to actually not get hit, right? Um, and obviously you can use a shield, you can whatever, but like, again, a shield as well I don't like because the shield is like, you're not really properly learning enemy patterns in my opinion. You're just kind of like holding the button, you know, it's like, uh, like holding the button down. I, I actually can't hold the button down here, but you know, just holding the button down, it's like, just holding the button down, it's like, it's, again, it's more reliant on stats, you know, you just have like a high stability shield instead of like, learning the pattern but anyway um but yeah i like dodging everything you know because that's how i played dark souls one um but that's why i don't, I don't like bosses that kind of like punish you for for dodging right they kind of punish you for like trying to dodge the combo as it turns out you can't dodge the combo at all you actually have to just simply space it out you know you have to be far away enough to dodge it right the perfect example is like melania Melania is just attack is just the, the one attack like all of her patterns are like really cool I, I like learning all of her, her attack patterns the one attack where she does the super slashy combo it's like uh, come on right yeah you have to space it no matter what it's kind of like it makes the fight not as cool as I want it to be you know I want to be up in her face you know trying to like you know uh react to her attacks and everything but you can't do that because of one attack and obviously I learned that you can kind of dodge it but it's a, it's a very unintuitive way, you know? So it's like, eh, I don't know. Anyway. So that's the one thing I, I kind of don't like, you know? A lot of the boss fights, or some of the boss fights anyway, they turn into like a, kind of like a, a spacing fight. You know, you gotta pay attention to the range. In, in a way, that's interesting, right? Because it's a new way to like, try to learn the boss fights. 
and everything. So you can't just simply just press the dodge button for everything. But I don't know. At the same time, it's like some some of the moves feel unfair. Is uh, that's my opinion anyway. But maybe you know, maybe if I play the game some more and you know, actually learn more of the boss fights, maybe it doesn't feel un as unfair as I think it is. But definitely. That's why I, I hate Malakev. You know, Malakev boss fight, the first phase, he's just so many patterns you just can't punish. It's frustrating. Anyway, it seems like it anyway. Like one move you can punish, like reliably. But everything else you just can't punish. This is annoying, this is annoying to me. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But yeah, that, that's another criticism I have. It's the, 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 the boss fights. I feel like sometimes it feels like you can't do anything. Um... But, you know, a lot of them, I feel like, as long as you learn them, as long as you understand the patterns, you can. Uh, it's just, like, it's deceptive whether or not you, you can or cannot, right? It's, it's, all, it's all about just learning the boss fight and learning what they do. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's my main criticisms. Um, basically, open world filler and uh, boss fights sometimes feel a little bit unfair, you know, a little bit too fast. I feel like they can, I feel like they could tweak the speed a little bit, you know? <laughs> Um, anything else? I'm trying to think. I wonder if this... Uh, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, that's just from like a PvE you know, perspective. There's like PvP stuff as well. I hear a lot, a lot of PvPs like unbalanced as well. So it's not as fun, but... Mm, I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, another criticism is definitely... I mean, it's the same criticism that everybody has, I feel like. It's the, the, the crypticness of like the NPC quests. You know, at first, I was like, okay, I played other Souls games before, I think I got it, you know, it's a little cryptic, but there's at least some hints here and there to kind of show you organically where you would find the characters, right? And I mean, obviously, all, as well, like, they don't really expect you to do all the NPC quests uh, on your first playthrough anyway, so you shouldn't expect to do all of them. At the same time, though, I, I really want to find all of them, right? So, uh... At first, I was fine because it seems like they gave enough hints. But as it went on, though, like later on, a lot of the NPC quests, I feel like, especially Selens as well, they, they feel too a little bit too cryptic. I don't know. They don't really show you any hints at all to like go to the places that the the character mentions. You know, at the very least, I, I wish they gave it a little bit more. I mean, they do that, right? That's that's the funny thing. They have like a little, a little hint system where you buy notes from merchants, right? And Obviously, you read the item descriptions. I mean, every veteran Souls player, I feel like, would read the item descriptions for the hints. But sometimes they don't, even with the hints and the item descriptions, um, or even with, you know, they don't have it at all, right? They don't even show you where the characters go at all. It just seems random sometimes. And I don't know, maybe I'm biased. Maybe it's because this is the latest uh, Souls game that I'm playing. Maybe it's always been that way, you know? But yeah, that's just something people kind of complain about. And, you know, obviously some players want the whole, like, you know, here's, like, a journal or whatever that shows you exactly where they are or whatever. Here's a little arrow. I don't I, I, I don't want that, but I, I I actually do wish they gave a little bit more hints to where he's supposed to go. You know, it's, it's, to me, it's kind of like a puzzle, right? But a puzzle to me feels unfair if they don't really give you a hint at all, you know, and you got to figure it out. I mean, usually, usually it's fine because it's balanced by the player messages, right? You know, these little player messages, which are mostly just mostly just troll messages, but um, but sometimes they do help, right? There's a lot of obscure things that you figure out just by looking at player messages. Um, but I feel like the whole NPC thing, you know, like knowing, especially their locations, you know, that's the biggest thing. Like sometimes you can't really figure it out. I don't know. It's like it's hard to figure out um, because they don't. They literally don't give you any like hint at all to where they would be so that that's one of my complaints as well i feel like but ah, whatever you know so it's like a whatever thing it's, it's not super important but to me it was kind of important because i wanted to follow all the npc quests and hidden path ahead you do see that a lot though a lot of troll messages it was like hidden path ahead but it's not hidden path uh oh yeah i should go like uh a while I'm rambling, by the way. Should I go back here? Yeah, I'm, it's the end of the game, by the way. I still haven't killed the guy. Uh, this guy. <laughs> I haven't killed him yet. Might as well. Here's the true final boss of Elden Ring. Tree Sentinel. Random Tree Sentinel. Oh yeah, another criticism. It reminds me, you know, the, the reason why I didn't fight this guy, by the way, it was the frame rate drops. I mean, that's just a technical, you know, complaint, I guess. But definitely on PC, the port wasn't very good. 
It seems it's been improved though. When I fought this guy before, it was like it was like freezing a whole bunch. It dropped so much frames, a whole bunch of alright. Now it seems okay. As I die this guy. You know, even though I beat the game already, it's like I'm gonna die this guy. No, I do uh, like a million damage. <laughs> but anyway. Boop. Ow. Anyway, yeah, that's another thing I, I obviously is a criticism is like that. The PC port. I don't know how it is in consoles. I think consoles had a bit of a problem too, but I think it was mainly PC where even though people had like uh, like a really good graphics card, it lagged for them and it, for me too, I feel like, at certain parts of the game, even now. But I think it's better, actually. I'm looking at my frame rate. It's actually 60, so yeah, it's been improved. Still like a little bit laggy in some areas, but at least it's better now, you know? So, yeah, there's at least that. I remember when I fought this guy first, it was like dropping so much frames. All of the frames were gone. It was like stuttering like five seconds and, and like freezing. Oh yeah, poke. All right, there you go. Finally, the true final boss of Elden Ring has been defeated. I win. I beat the game. And get like a golden halberd. Amazing. I can look at it. <laughs> I haven't actually killed this guy. He's supposed to be the guy, you know, th th no one's going to believe me, by the way, but I actually did beat this guy off screen on my very first playthrough when I was testing out the game. So I actually did do the thing that every Varian Souls player does is try to f defeat like the, you know, the strong like mini boss that you're not supposed to fight, but you try, you do it, do it anyway. I actually did that, but especially with the frame drops, but I did, I didn't record it because, you know, I didn't want to bother because it was dropping frames a whole bunch. So I didn't want to actually record it, but oh well. Anyway, Twitter by Order Trees that knows. Yep, it's a cool halberd, basically. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. This is just a rambling time because I beat the game already. Um, anything else I want to say? I guess that's it. That's my main criticism of the game. You know, there were some performance issues. Um, some of the bosses feel unfair, but you know that's just how it is. Uh, the, the uh, too much filler in the open world and and the NPC stuff. You know, sometimes he was a little bit too obscure, especially near the end. You know, end game. I felt they, they kind of got a little lazy there, or like they didn't really give you enough hints to show you the path of where to go. Right. Um. But yeah. Burning tree. Overall, though, I really like the game. Uh, my only regret is that I spent way too long on this, you know, like, it's, how many hours? 160 hours or something? This is, I spent too much time on this game, I feel like. Uh, but you know, I gotta, like, I, you know, I, I, I always finish what I start, you know, even if it's a long game, I, I gotta, like, finish it. And I enjoy it too. But definitely, I feel like a little bit too long, <laughs> you know, just a little bit too long. Um... But, you know, that's that's the thing, right? You don't have to do everything is the thing, right? It's open world, so you don't literally have to do everything. You could just, like, um, like just do the main quest, I guess. It's not really a quest, right? But, like, you just do the main bosses and you actually finish the game a lot faster. But, you know, it's just because it's open world, you, you just feel tempted to, like, explore around and everything. So it's kind of like a me problem, right? So like, I didn't have to spend as much time as I did. But, like, because I like exploring, I ended up spending a, a bit uh, too much. And that ended up like being a bad thing because I want to finish the game faster. It's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of like it's it's I don't know. It's a both a, a both a positive and a negative at the same time. So it's just neutral, really. At the end of the day, yeah, three months of streams. Well, you know, it's because I don't stream as often. Anyway, if I stream this game like every day, it, obviously it would have been a lot faster. But I just don't like stream as much. I don't have as much free time. I, I play a little bit off screen. Little, <laughs> the thing is, I play a lot off screen as well, but only because I have a bit of time every now and again. But like, I don't have like a lot of continuous, you know, free time is the thing. When I, I want to stream it, I don't want to like stop and interrupt the stream every single time. So the only time I get to actually like continuous play, uh, continuously play it is in, is on the weekends. But anyway, that's just whatever. Who cares? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, um. But what's great about this game, by the way, what's very cool about this game, and I don't know if I'll show it off, I'll probably just do it off screen, uh, but uh, uh, what's amazing about the Souls games is that there's so much replayability. 
right like this is like this was like a pokey kind of build you know pokey kind of character i just don't use rapiers a whole bunch but you can make a like a totally different character right you can make like a more like a spell casting kind of build you could use different weapons right slower weapons faster weapons it's it's awesome because if you just start a new character i mean you can respect as well but i personally like to just make new characters you make new characters you make new builds you level up different stats and you end up with a totally different experience. You know, that's that's what I like about the Souls games. For PvE and also PvP as well. You dabble in a little PvP, you can like make more optimized builds and then you know try out different things. Again, it's a little unbalanced right now though. So I, I hope they kinda add more DLC. Um maybe to like fix the you know, the whole like PvP thing. Like maybe they add arenas or something. Well, I never I was never good at arenas though. I, I tried a little bit in Dark Souls 2. I think they had like arenas and I wasn't good at it, but anyway. <laughs> uh but yeah I, I hope they add more stuff you know i mean dlc in general usually you expect dlc from like a, Soul, a souls game you know second road uh, they, i don't think they added dlc for second road though they had like a game of the year kind of thing so they had some extra little features some extra little rehashes of the existing boss fights but they never actually had like real dlc but i don't know you kind of usually expect dlc for like a main souls game so i'm hoping to you know come back to this game later do like dlc stuff that's what I'm hoping. Anyway, I don't know. I, I think there's enough rambling. There's, there's probably like a whole bunch I want to say. Oh yeah, the lore as well. I, I mean, that's like a whole thing. I'm not, I'm not like Vadi video, so I'm not gonna like break down the entire lore of the world, I guess, because there's there's a lot. Um, but you know, from what I understand of the story, I guess it's, ba it's very straightforward. You know, that means basically what the introduction said. Basically, the Elden Ring was shattered. All the pieces. You know, fell apart from all the lands, and the, and the demigods were bickering, you know, against each other. There's a whole civil war. I'm not really sure about the tarnish, though. Like, I'm still actually not sure about the whole tarnish, the uh, origin. Like, apparently, we were spurned from grace. So, like, we were, like, apparently, I assume, like, just like my character name, you know, exiled from the lands between. But then we came back from the guidance of grace, I guess. I guess drawn by the power of the Elden Ring. And, you know, and that began the whole journey to, like, kill the gods, you know, gain their power. I'm very similar themes to Dark Souls 1. And bring back uh, the, the, the shattered pieces uh, back into the Earth Tree. And then, you know, uh, repair the Elden Ring or whatever. Um, but I guess there's a, there was a snag in the plans because the tree itself is it's kind of like a paradox, right? The tree itself is protected by thorns, so you got to burn it. But you gotta commit a sin to burn it, so it was kind of weird, right? So it's like, you, you didn't really follow according to the plans of the, I guess, the greater will or whatever. But you ended up achieving the same thing anyway, depending on what you do, I guess. You do repair the Elden Ring and become a new Elden Lord and things like that. I guess for, um, yeah, I mean, for obviously for the, the frenzied flame ending, you just burn everything like a madman. <laughs> you know, you're just crazy. You just burn everything, I guess. And uh, for the uh, for the Ronnie ending, you end up, I guess, not really repairing the Elden Ring, but rather using its power to, I guess, achieve Ronnie's plan, right? Ronnie's whole thing was that she didn't want to become, you know, the new, like, uh, I guess, uh, vessel for the Elden Ring, like, the, like, like Marika or whatever. She wanted to reject that and I guess just do something else. And I assume from her ending, it's very mysterious, but I assume for her ending, it means like going into space, <laughs> you know, like bringing in the age of the stars and therefore just like rejecting the whole golden order and then just doing her own thing. Uh, it's implied though that she's going on a very lonely journey, right? That's her initial plan. It's very much waifu bait, but she was going on a very lonely journey into space by herself right that's the whole idea that she would isolate herself and therefore isolate her influence maybe of the world but of course we do the whole ronnie thing and we were like a super simp so we go with her i guess and we spend eternity together or something like that i don't know <laughs> very much super ultimate waifu bait ending but oh well whatever uh the game sold way too much not again at least one dlc yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. Also, Elden Ring, definitely. They they kind of just rebranded Dark Souls, really. It's just the same. It's just Dark Souls. It's Dark Souls 4, really. But, like, they rebranded it, and I, you know, it's just a marketing thing, right? It's just, um, because they rebranded it, it got, like, so much hype, got so popular, and I think it's, like, the, the most, like, best-selling Souls game yet. So, it worked, right? The whole, like, I don't know. I don't know how, I, I don't know how 
to market. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to do marketing, but I guess it worked. You know, they they just need they just changed the name really for a lot of things, and and you know, it sold a lot. And I guess because of the reputation, you know, on, on top of the the From Software's reputation and like the hype behind it, right? Because it's not. I imagine it's not just fans of like the Souls games that bought you know Elden Ring, but also just a whole bunch of just. People in general like to play video games. Like they heard about it, it's like, oh, Souls games. They sound very hard. Elden Ring. What's this? You know, it's kind of like they just heard it through the grapevine and word of mouth and just marketing and advertising and all that. So yeah, it's just like it's the most like uh, popular ROM software game yet. I don't know how. I don't know how they're gonna top it. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna make Elden Ring too. I feel like they would kind of ruin it <laughs> if like a sequel. Like, how would you make Elden Ring too? I mean, I guess you just make the same game except just you know different. <laughs> I guess and just add new things. But I don't know. I, I I have a feeling. You know, I have a gut feeling they're just not gonna make an Elden Ring too. But instead, they're just gonna make another game. That's kind of like Sekiro, right? They're gonna make a, like a Sekiro kind of game where they or, or like a Bloodborne kind of game where it's a completely different setting, but you know, similar like engine, you know, and everything. That's what I'm guessing that's what we're going to do, but I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, <sighs> that's enough rambling. I'm rambling for so long. I got to stop. Elden Ring. It's a really great game where I got a lot of thoughts about, but I think I'm going to end it here. Elden Ring. It's it's, uh, it's a great game. There you go. And that's that was it for this game. We became Elden Lord. Cool. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, I guess, um, how do I sign off? I usually sign off because usually I play like short games. Usually I always do the thing where like I sign off, but like this was, this is like a very long playthrough that I've already forgotten how to sign off. Uh, what do I usually say? I say like, what? Like, uh, I, I guess for those of you on you on YouTube, right? Okay. So, so for those of you on YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out there if you're interested. Uh, but I also have other games on the channel. So you can look for those if you want. I play like I replay like Dark Souls. So that's kind of related. Uh, but also like a lot of other different kinds of games as well. Like indie games and um, you know, whatever games I find interesting. Usually it's like anime. Um, hey, Elder Ring is anime in my opinion. You know, there's so much waifus in this game. You know, so much uh, anime fan art actually. There's a lot of fan art of this Elden Ring uh, game. That's like basically anime, so it's basically an anime game. You know, I basically only play anime games. Anyway, but that, that'll be it for uh, for uh, for this game. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then. <laughs>